Hey everybody, it's the Mad Master here. I'm doing another video. And this time, it's kind of a sequel to a previous video I did a couple months ago. Maybe it was a little longer than that now. Anyways, this one is just a simple video. A simplified version of that really long spiel that I had about politics maybe earlier in the year. I think it was earlier this year. So, a lot of people don't really understand my political philosophy. Uh, and that's why I wanted to do this video, just to kind of clear up a lot of what I have to say. So, this is basically it. I believe that in America, politics are corrupted by rich people. Being rich is not a bad thing. It's uh, not terrible to be rich. Capitalism is not bad. Um, a lot of people would disagree with that. Now, capitalism may be unsustainable in the long run for our planet. That's the truth. So even though I desire, you know, wealth myself, so I am not against capitalism in theory I see, but I do see that the limitations of it. Politicians are corrupt because they are driven by the money of their donors. War that the United States fights, all the wars since World War II, were a result of not fighting for democracy not fighting for human rights, not fighting to defend any type of people from anybody else. Now, the stated purposes of those wars might have had partial inclusion of some of those things, but overall, those wars were not fought because of those things. I see that as fundamentally wrong, that wars will be fought for the benefit of arms manufacturers, the military industrial complex, or the CEOs, not the regular people, the CEOs and the heads of corporations, because it would maximize, maximize profit or, you know, trade routes, various things like that. Interests, American interests. You know, Madeleine Albright used to say that all the time. And that is what that means. So I think that's wrong. I'm not like anti violence all the time or something, or not a, really a pacifist. I just think it's wrong to say. Something's for one thing when it's really for a bunch of other, for, you know, a bunch of other things or for another thing. I don't like hypocrisy. So, I also there's another so there's another thing political politically that I believe. I believe that places other than the United States, other than the United States that are in the Western world, so-called Western world, in you know, the industrialized, industrialized nations of the first world have it better than the United States. This is my belief. I think that having a social safety net that is better, having more fair and equal uh, justice, having uh, better drug laws, you know, that aren't, won't punitively per put someone in prison for the rest of their life, I think that's better. So you add up all these things, right? And, you know, I'm not saying that Europe, like Northern Europe, and you know, the Nordic countries or Nordic countries or whatever are like superior per se in every way in the United States. You add up all these things and that is my political philosophy. So what does that say? It's pretty simple. I hate most of the Democratic Party and I hate most of the Republican Party. In fact, I hate probably I do hate the you know most the Republican Party more nowadays, um, and I support Bernie Sanders for president, like I said. So, 
I don't really think it's that complicated. I don't think it's like I have to like sit here and like explain all this stuff. I think it's pretty simple. This is just what I believe. It's just what I believe. And that's people may not understand, you know, they may, oh, they, they, you know, they might call me far left, which really is kind of a, a really ignorant thing to say, because if I'm far left, then what is, what are these people, you know, what are these people in Europe that are like wanting to tear down their systems? You know, if I'm far left for America, I'm far left fine for America, but not for the world and through history, I'm not far left. I'm actually a centrist. That is the way it is. And if you don't, people don't like that, then I don't know. I just don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm just speaking the truth about history and how things have been and the world at large. If you want to put me in a category, I am in the middle worldwide through history and time. I am in the middle. I am a centrist. I am a centrist. You know, Pete Buttigieg is not a centrist. He's center right. Joe Biden is center right. Amy Klobuchar is center right. Uh, you know, I'm. I mean, some of the other ones might be. Some of the progressives might be center right too. I mean, if you look at the rest of the world, they're center right. As Bernie ta Bernie Sanders' tax policies is not even as pun as punitive as Eisenhower's were, and Eisenhower was a right wing Republican. So that's all I got to say. It's not really a defense of my politics. It's just a simple explanation explanation that I wanted to do in a short video. And I will see you later.